Hey guys, Fred here, AF Math and Engineering. Let's do another problem on the definition of a derivative, okay? Something that you can expect on a midterm. This is the type of question that you'll see. Something that looks simple, and it is simple if you go slowly and you, you really do it step by step and you do every expansion perfectly, but there are room, there is room for errors here, okay? So let's take a look at what we have, okay? We have f of x is equal to x over 2x minus 1, all right? And I've taken the liberty here of writing out the definition of the derivative again, okay? The question specifically asks us to use this, okay? f of x equal, the limit is h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So, stop here if you haven't done the last video. This is, uh, this is, this one's a little more complicated. Go back and, you know, understand why we're plugging in x plus h and x and that kind of stuff. If you're okay up to this point, then let's just start solving this. We're going to do it step by step. We're going to do the whole thing, and let's begin. So, right off the bat, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take h plus x plus h for this term here, for f, and we're going to substitute it for x. So we're going to start by doing that. And for each step along the way, we're going to write the limit as h approaches zero. Don't forget that because that could lead to you getting this question wrong. So. We have x plus h on the top, substituting x plus h for x in f of x, all right, and we have 2x plus h minus 1, all right, that's the first term down for the function. Let's do the second one, and we're just going to substitute, well, nothing to substitute, right? Just use x, so we're going to do that, minus x over 2x minus 1, and the whole thing is divided by h. Perfect. First step finished, let's move on to the next step. And we need to clean this up a little bit, all right? We need to get it into some kind of form that we can work with. And what we can notice immediately over here is that we can turn this into one fraction using a common denominator. So if we multiply, this fraction, top and bottom, by 2x minus 1, and top and bottom here by 2 times x plus h minus 1, we'll end up with one fraction instead of the difference between two of them on the top. Let's see if that helps. So we should arrive at x plus h over times 2x minus 1, all right? And we are going to multiply x by 2 times x plus h minus 1. Perfect. And the denominator for this is going to be the common denominator, all right? And that is going to be these two multiplied by each other. All right, and the whole thing is over h. Perfect. So we've gone ahead and we've started to, to clean this up a little bit. Now, the next step I would suggest when we're dealing with something like this is to just start expanding on the numerator on the top here. And we'll, we'll see that in most of these types of questions, types of exam questions, is a lot of stuff on the top will start to cancel once we start to, to simplify. So let's start doing that. Okay, so if we go ahead and we just expand this out here, we should end up with, I'm not going to do every step, I'll just write out the expansion for this. It's supposed to be a 2. 2x squared plus 2xh minus x minus h. Okay, that's the first term expanded. Minus 2x squared plus 2xh minus x. Don't forget this negative here, okay? That negative applies to the entire term, all right? Don't make that mistake of just applying it to the first term because that's gonna be wrong. You're gonna get a zero. We don't wanna see any zeros. And I am just going to continue. The denominator is unchanged thus far and this denominator of the entire fraction is also unchanged. And as we can see, we can start to cancel some of these terms on the top. Actually, most of it cancels. So 2x squared cancels, 2xh cancels, and we have x minus minus x, that's going to cancel, and we're left with minus h on the top. 
So we have the limit as h approaches zero of negative h over two x plus h minus one times two x minus one over h. All right, and let's get this into a form where we could cancel the top and the bottom because we can't right now. So if we go ahead and we multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction by one over h, all right, we will end up with the limit as h approaches zero of negative h over h two x plus h minus one times two x minus one. All right, now this is looking like something that we can start to cancel and really work with, right? Uh, if we remember from the limits before, we needed to get it into a form where we could plug in the limit or apply the limit and we would get a defined function. And now this looks like something that we're, we're arriving at, we're, we're working towards, okay? Because we have h's here that are canceling, okay? And if we continue along, we're going to end up with negative one over two x plus h minus one times two x minus one. So this is the point in the question that a lot of people struggle with, I find. They don't know when to stop simplifying. All right, and a good exam, a, a good indicator of when to stop simplifying, because we could continue expanding and you know waste a lot of time during our, our, our test, but we don't want to do that. We want to do it in the most efficient way possible. So, as you can see, we don't have this entire term as a product of h anymore. And remember that the limit as h approaches or is is the limit of h approaches zero. So if we have h times some terms on the, on the denominator, we'll be dividing by zero and that will be undefined. However, we simplified and we were able to get rid of that product of h with these terms. And as you can see now, if we go ahead and just apply this limit of h approaches zero, we will not be dividing by zero anymore and that will give us a, a, a limit that is defined and that's what we want. So this at this point here, okay, I'm gonna give that a star. At this point here is where we want to apply the limit. So I'm gonna bring it up here and let's go ahead and plug that in. So we have, and we'll take the limit sign away because now it's applied. We have negative one over two x plus zero minus one, okay? And times two x minus one, all right? And x plus zero is just x, obviously. Okay, so we're left with, if we go ahead and simplify that, negative one over 2x minus 1 squared. All right, and that is the that is the derivative of f of x using the derivative as or the definition of the derivative as a limit. I hope that was a little bit more or the the topic is a little bit more clear now after we did this. This is a prime example for a, a midterm you know, solve this, solve the ones from before. If you like this video, give us a like, give us a subscribe, come back for more derivative stuff later. Thanks for watching.